Um, and it might be that some people get a shorter time than they might otherwise think. Marama Fox for a five minute call. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Te mana whakawā, kei te pirangi au te mihi atu ki a koutou e hui nei tēnei wā hei uh, kawe tēnei pire uh, ki rotu i te ture. Koutou e hāpai nei i ngā mahi o wīpere i, I te hītori o te whenua. Koutou e mau tonu te whenua ki a whiwhi pūtia, ki a mahi ngā mahi, ki a tautoko i ngā uri o wīpere kei te mihi atu ki a koutou. Nā, ki a rapu au te kore haere tō te kau ki tō koutou website. A nei nā tā koutou e ki nei. Wiramu Pere and his family were owners of land in their own right and were, and were owners of undivided interests of various land titles. And as you know, like happened around the entire country, land leases and, and the ability to earn money off the land for Māori, uh, all of that was stopped when Governor Gray announced you can no longer uh, pay your land leases to Māori landowners. And so Wipere Whānau found themselves with some accumulated debt and went to the bank to try and alleviate that to ensure that the land would not be sold. And this is what for happened. The bank consented with the following conditions. One, that we, Petty and his family, transfer all their estates to a trust formed under the provisions of the Native Land Laws Amendment Act 1897. The Native Land Laws Amendment Act. I guess that would have been the ancient iteration of what we're trying to do now with the Ture Whenua. Uh, number two, that the trustee appointed should be consented to by the governor and that all restrictions should be removed from the land. Number three, that Walter George Foster of Wellington be appointed trustee who should have exclusive control without interference and by any of the beneficiaries over the management and disposal of the land. And we petty fought this tooth and nail. He was not going to allow that to happen, but seeing the uh, land under threat of uh, liability to be lost, uh, finally consented, took the loan, consented to the conditions under which that loan was um, that loan was uh, was was got. That's not a flash word, but under which they got the loan, and then uh, set about trying to earn the money required to pay it off as quick as possible and retain the land for all future generations. And now we come today to this trust who have now $65 million asset because they have ensured that they are doing the best for their beneficiaries. Now here's a little something that you need to understand about Māori trusts and Māori land. Uh, a dividend in a, normal, in a normal company, if you don't pay out dividends sufficient enough to your, your owners and your beneficiaries, they sell your shares and your, uh, your value of your company goes into the ground. That doesn't happen in Māori land because Māori landowners will never sell their shares. They want to keep that forever and so dividend is not often paid out. Dividend is reinvested and reinvested and reinvested in the whenua to ensure we can grow the asset, which is a good thing. But what also happens then is you do get some contention and tension within the whānau who don't believe that the asset is being looked after or distributed fairly. And I think that's fair from the comments that uh, came through the submitters. And so following the hearings that we had in Gisborne, very proud of the whānau who turned up, well versed in, in uh, the issues that they may have had, uh, very proud of the trust who turned up, well versed in the running of uh, the Wee Pere Trust and the efforts that they make on the on behalf of their beneficiaries, but it was obvious that there were some communication things that needed to be settled. But I think uh, the tikanga that we all uphold to, mate kōrero ka whakatika, this bill, I commend it to the House, proud of the whānau for the efforts that you make. You all know what is needed, or the, the whānau know is what is needed in the future, and uh, we watch with interest as you continue to grow the asset for the benefit <coughs> of all your descendants. Mr Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Uh, tēnā koe te māngai o te whare. 